Hey everyone, how many of you will come across and you're working a deal with your state, your local state, and this one, in, in my case, it's in California, and you're asked to give some documents that seem impossible, or you get a letter and, and you want to freeze. How do you deal with that? Watch this video and find out. Do me a favor, before you watch this video, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, go ahead and click the subscribe link. I'd love for you to be one of my lucky winners. Click the notification link. I'd like to also for you to be notified. A lot of times I do free webinars, free events, or I'll do like a, um, live events, I should say. And I'll also do like a live cold calling. I'd like, I'd like you to be able to be part of that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on here. And I wanna show you an actual email I have received from the state regarding a claim. And, and by the way, I've received quite a few of these. I'm just gonna to show you this one okay this is an escrow account that somebody has it looks like it was back in 2003 and we're trying to get this person paid original bank statement if the property is a bank or financial institution so this is one that just says original claimant please refer to your unclaimed number and then it gives you on um, the information right here so if you look at this you need to follow this and get the state what they need and i'm going to tell you what I'm going to do here in a minute. Okay, they're not going to have the original bank statement that's in A. Copy the stock certificate of the original account statement if the property is from an investment company. Original invoice or receipt from the reporting company. List of the safety deposit um, box content. Now, realistically, there's a couple of things we have. This is an escrow account for a property. First of all, the account owner has a driver's license here that has the original address. He has moved since, but but we're going to go ahead and enclose that old driver's license front and back showing that that is him and that he had that address first of all secondly there are some old bank statements that we have that show that he has that address as well we're going to go ahead and try to show those i mean who has a i, I out of all the properties that i have flipped and i'm like wow if I had to go back to 2003, there's no way. Um, and, and I owned my first property in 2000, I think it was 2002. There's no way I could go back and show back statements for, from, um, what is that? That's 18 years ago. I mean, nobody keeps documents that long. And you might be dealing with, with, with the grandkids. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and get as much documentation showing that the address that got reported was the address that this claimant lived at that they could go ahead. And by the way, I get many different things here. This this is not the only letter I've, I've received from the state. I'm showing you this one. They do give a couple phone numbers that you can call. I have called these numbers before. Email, they're a lot more responsive on, I have found out. Please attach a copy of this email to the request of documents to ensure priority processing. Upon receiving review of the additional documents, our office will work as quickly as possible to make a determination on your claim. That's basically them saying that they're, they haven't necessarily proved or disprove the claim. If the request documents are not received within seven days of this email, your claim may be returned for insufficient documentation. Okay. Usually I'm given a little bit longer on this. Um, I, I, I know why this one is and I'll, um, and, and usually I'm given a little longer on, on the claims on this one and I won't confuse you too much here. I'm just going to say, usually they give you two to three weeks, um, if not a month. You may resubmit your claim when you have obtained the uh, um, request documents. You will not be subjected to the 180 day waiting period as your claim will come directly to the assigned evaluator for processing. Please let me know if you have any questions, um, comments, concerns. You can submit the documents um, one in three ways. Okay, I never fax, nobody fax is kind of old school. My, my printer could do that, but I don't. Email, right here's the email that um, of, of the state controller's office. That is one way that I will do it. So what I will do is I will reply to this email and I will also reply, um, I'll also forward it on this one. And then it gives us information right here. And this is just the same information. Or I can hard mail it. I, um, again, they say that it, it'll only take a few days. The state is 45, they were 45 days behind during COVID on even opening up their mail. There's no way they're gonna get this seven days if I email, if I hard mail it. So what I'm gonna do, physically mail it, I should say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna play ball here, okay? So I'm gonna give them the driver's license of, of, of this person, um, a copy of it. Um, so they have that showing that the address matches the address on file. And 
then I'm going to go and show them some bank statements. I'm trying to get them to see if they have an old tax, like if they had some old taxes emailed or anything like that. They don't know that yet. Um, they're, they're in the process of looking for that. That would also help. Apparently this was an old house, an old escrow account I showed you before. Yeah. And, and then I'm also going to try to contact First Source USA. But again, I doubt if they would have information and, and I know this was California. So I'm going to put um, California on here and then try to, um, they have first title home. So I will, I will need to possibly make some calls and see if they have anything on the person or if they could show like in any proof of it. But the address, it matches the address what this guy has on file. So I know that basically if you have a John Smith, as many John Smiths is out there and this name I have is unique. It's, it's not that common. And it was one, two, three main street. Chances are 99.9. I would throw everything on that, that you have the right person. I mean, the, he's got a, a driver's license with the correct address. He's got all the information. So now at this time it comes to playing ball. So, and I say this because a lot of people think, oh, okay, all I have to do is submit in the claim and then, and then I'm done. I tell people to be ready for more documentation. And we did submit some documentation with this claim, as I recall, but this one might need, um, j just needs a little bit more. And we'll do that. Last time I showed you this letter, I showed you a woman I'm dealing with who has, um, it's her son's estate, which is really sad. They're wanting him to catch up on his taxes. And I'm, I'm trying to work. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get paid on that one, but I'm trying to get my claim and paid on that one and, and go from there. So anyway, um, once you submit in a claim, you could go in and check your claim 45 days later in, in my state. Some states are a lot more quicker. Um, it just, you know, they're a little bit behind. And so people say, well, I have to wait 45 days. Well, let me tell you, this one is probably less than four months old and they're getting back to me. Yeah. So, so there are getting sped up, but what I always tell people is let's say you do have to wait six months to get paid. So um, we're in September. What is that March? So in the beginning of March, I would get paid. So if I do a deal on September 8th, Let's say I get paid on March 8th. Let's say I do another deal on September 15th. Then I get paid again on March 15th. And then September 22nd, then I get paid on March 22nd. So once you get rolling with this and, and you get the process rolling, you're going to get this moving to the point where it's just going to, you're, you're going to start getting checks in on a regular basis. And that's what you're trying to do. So I hope this helps on Respond to the State. I see this all the time in, in many different states. I mean, I've seen it. I have warriors that work several states and, and I get emails like this all the time. This is a personal email that I received that I thought I would just share with you guys. So do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. A lot of you asked me the process of getting paid. And I'm trying to show you the process. So step one was submitting the paperwork. Step two is they're, they're, they're wanting to play ball. That's fine. I'll play ball. Um, I'll jump in here, play ball. I'll answer um, these questions for them, get them the information that they want. And hopefully, hopefully that'll do it. And then um, they, they might request some additional information. We'll try to do that. The fact that I have proof of this address left and right should, should be enough. I just, I have to, I have to go ahead and submit that. And then hopefully after that, I'll get paid. And, you know, some of the checks are higher than others. So hopefully it'll be paid and it'll be a done deal. Hey, everyone. Again, thank you for watching and do me a favor. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification link. I'll see you on the next video.